um, I swear, last time we've been here, we actually, or not, or not, um, but I should probably write this down, <laughs> that this leads to the cellar. And the other way leads to the tower. Okay, this way there will be less confusion. Um, yeah, yeah, now I recognize this. Um, okay. Okay, let's go south east now. And talk to to Gamorin. Mm. Note. Uh, okay. Healer. Blah. No. Burrow. Hidden. Do you happen to know where I could find the Song of Armorons? No, actually I'm busy with making potions, so don't bother me unless you want to help me. Nolan suggested to ask you about your cushion, you say. Gamoran stares at you perplexedly. A cushion? Nolan wants you to ask me about a cushion. And what problem would that solve? The gnome shifts uneasily on his stool, then gets up and points to his seat. I have no chair cushion anymore, see? Someone took it just recently, and now that you mention Nolan, I bet it was this mischievous gno gnome. I'm sitting on mere books now. Put on top of the chair so that I can reach the table at all. Gamoran fumes. Actually, it escapes your lips as you look at Gamoran's seat. Actually, I guess the idea now. I get the idea now. Why no one suggested to try some pillow talk? <laughs> pillow talk. <clears throat> right there in front of Gamoran's nose, on top of his chair, there lies a thick tome, and to everyone's astonishment it bears the letters The Potiorama, large and plain on its cover, and is subtitled Thranter's Book of Potions. Gamoran jumps, jumps up and down. You found it! You found it! He shouts enthused. Gamoran delightedly puts the book on the table, flipping through the pages until he finds the receipt he was looking for. Ormelin! The gnome giggles for a moment. Thank you, friend traveler! He addresses you. Without you, I wouldn't have found about this ingredient. The Gamoran, then Gamoran reorders the books on his seat, putting the potiorama again on top and climbs up, just as before, continuing with his experiment as if nothing has happened. So, you can't help and just need to ask, now that you have gone through all this. So what? Gamoran inquires. So, what is that miraculous ingredient you've been missing to make this ormelin perfect? Can you believe it? Gamoran states curtly, shakes his flask to mix its ingredient properly, and leaves you back flabbergasted. Water! Your score has just increased by 150 points! Yay! <laughs> okay. 
Okay, that's done now. Uh, okay, so um, and can he help us? Maybe not. Okay, then not. I guess. Examine Boturama. The book now rests next to Gamoran on his alchemy table. Didn't he sit on it? And as you look at it, Gamoran snorts at you. Hey, thanks for bringing it back to me, pal. But actually, I need it right now, so maybe you could bother someone else while I'm doing my experiments. Thank you kindly. Asshole. Actually, Nolan was much nicer than this one. Alchemist Garden Bench You sit on the bench. It's nice to have a chance to rest your legs. The air is warm and the light breeze brings the many sweet flower scents to you. It is very pleasant here. Okay, that's it. The Hmm. Ah, I still wanted to go through the door. Uh -huh. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um. Talk to Gamorn. Hmm. So, I still cannot open the door. I guess I will go east for now. <laughs> North, east, 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 east. This echoing space and unfurnished but given a rich air nonetheless by the extensive wooden panelling. Have I been here before? I think I have. Hmm. Okay, let's go back to the administration. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of a song about Armeros? You ask, Alice is searching for it. 